Imagine you have a ball and you squeeze it. Now, imagine you're naturally strong, and you squish it to an infinitely dense point. What would happen? Well, there's actually a defined answer. It creates something called a black hole. A black hole is defined as a region of space where its gravitational field is so powerful that not even light can escape its own horizon. There are many theoretical ways they can form, but the main way is when a supermassive star collapses. Fusion, the star's main energy process and its resistive force, can't withstand its gravitational pull any longer, and it collapses under its own gravity. Now, what happens after is usually a supernova, a massive explosion of electromagnetic radiation. But sometimes, a black hole can form. But what happens when you get inside the black hole? While the actual timeline of events are uncertain because you can't actually get information from the black hole, the most likely timeline is that you approach something called the singularity, an infinitely dense point in space-time with no volume. And when you do, we have no idea what happens after. You can think of a black hole as a funnel or a river. As you get closer, it gets harder to get out, but once you actually get past its event horizon, it becomes a 360 degree funnel to the singularity. Singularity in general is super counterintuitive, and it's a reminder to physicists that we really don't know anything about black holes in general. Or in simpler terms, we know nothing. The end.